Hey everybody, Social Share coming at you live on this interesting Saturday afternoon. I'm coming at you live from TSF Auto Sales. TSF Auto Sales is located at 60 Railroad Avenue in Hasbrook Heights, New Jersey. And uh, what they do is they sell vehicles. Currently, they're running a pre-approval sales event with Capital One, which is really interesting because Capital One buys very deep and helps deals get put together. What's also nice about TSF Auto Sales, what people don't realize is TSF Auto Sales, they do sell vehicles at wholesale prices or close to them. And even more interestingly enough, what TSF Auto Sales offers and does is they have a very big knack. They're very good at finding vehicles that uh, could be a little older, you know, maybe eight to 10 years old, but at the same time, lower mileage. I actually almost bought a vehicle, uh, but I, I didn't end up getting it because um, I have two vehicles now and I just wasn't able to get a third at the moment. But I actually almost bought a vehicle that was a 2005 Acura RL. Now picture this, I'm gonna switch the screen over. A 2005 Acura RL with all of 79,000 miles on it. It was under $8,000. And um, I just decided not to buy it. Like I said, I got two vehicles now. Uh, but they're like right now, I think they have a 2005 or no, or maybe 2008. They have a Mercedes C-Class that's got 31,000 miles on it. So what I'm trying to say is that this dealership, they do a really good job of finding vehicles that are low mileage, that are quality. And you know what? Their reviews and the reputation that they have online is impeccable. So let's just take a look. I'm outside right now. We're going to just take a look at a few of the cars. This is just a, the start because the real action is going to be inside of the dealership. They have a warehouse full of cars. Everything from Acura, Audi, Honda, Lexus, Toyota, Mercedes, you name it, they have it. I think I might have done a video on this vehicle not long ago. I'm looking at a Toyota Prius Hybrid. There's a couple dealerships kind of mixed in in the same building. Uh, let's see here. We have a Nissan Versa. I think I advertised this vehicle recently on social media. We do social media marketing for this dealership. So I wanted to go live. We're obviously going to share this with all of North Jersey, with New York. Let's see what we have here. I think these are vehicles they just took in. Yeah, I think these are vehicles just to get. I'm looking at a Chevy Impala. Space is limited here, but but they make it happen. Got a Chevy Camaro. Volkswagen VW. And, you know, you name it, they have it. I think this is more of where the trade-ins are. Mazda CX-9. Yeah, we're going live on the 24th. Uh, Social Share is coming to Long Island with Joe Nicolini. We're going to make it happen. It's going to be incredible. As we walk inside, I'm going to show you guys some cars. As we walk inside. Again, they have a Capital One pre-approval sale. I love Capital One. Capital One is great. It gives people a second chance for those people that are having a more difficult time getting approved on a car. They have their own parking here. When you arrive here at TSF Auto Sales, you get your own parking. Parking for TSF Auto customers only. And as I arrive here, look at what we got. We got smart cars. We got smart cars. Honda CRV. Acura RDX. Acura MDX. Mini Cooper. This is kind of cool. I don't know if it's open or if it's locked, but this is pretty cool.
It's a 2012 Mini Cooper S Countryman, all 4S, all-wheel drive. 53,000 miles on it for $14,995. Automatic transmission, leather seats. It actually is a very cool-looking vehicle, don't you think? Ooh. For those of you that know, I've, been, I've become a very big BMW fanatic. I actually own one now. Um, this car is hot. I did advertise this car not long ago. This is a 2013 6 Series 650 um, I X-Drive Grand Coupe, 8-cylinder, 64,000 miles. This is one of those life goal cars for me. I like this car a lot. This car is beautiful. This car is absolutely incredible. I did do a advertisement on this vehicle. A matter of fact, we put it on the Facebook page for this vehicle. We got over 2,000 people liking this car. This car is hot. Mercedes Benz. Hey. Our customer relations representative just came out. She just came out. I think we're going to introduce Cynthia. I think she's going to come out any minute. Um, wow, I didn't see this car here last time. Look who we have here. You're, you're about to go live. Everybody, meet Cynthia. Hello, guys. How are you? So Cynthia is our customer relations representative here at TSF Auto Sales. Matter of fact, when you contact the dealership, she's going to be the first person you speak to. She's the voice of the dealership. So she is going to be the one to help make your appointment, help answer some questions, and uh, yeah, she's going to make it happen for you. What do you have to say? I don't know. I'm nervous. Don't be this nervous. Is the first time I've ever gone live. Eh, don't be nervous. It's all good. We're just going through the cars. We're showing off the different cars. I was talking about how this particular one, I believe, I put on Facebook. Uh -huh. It got over 2,000 in, uh, views on it in three different countries, literally. Um, this car's hot. My favorite cars. What's your favorite car here that you guys have for sale right now? Uh, I don't know yet. I mean, I'm really big into Camaros. I, mean, I saw a Camaro back something there. Something that I've been looking at a lot lately are these MDXs. We get a lot of them, and they get very, really, really fast, so they're really popular. I know they're super luxurious, All right, so they're super reliable. I used to work on these cars a lot, so I know a lot about them. One of my favorite cars. Speaking of which, your background, you worked in a repair shop. Where did yes. you work? I used to work at Valvoline. It's an oil change. We did, you know, the maintenance, oil changes, transmission flushes, engine flushes, air filters, cabin filters, tire rotation. You know what that means, everyone? Here, I'm going to flip this over. What that means is she knows her cars. You know, unlike a lot of dealerships where you call in and you have questions about cars, the reps don't know what they're talking about sometimes, and we have to sometimes go in and train them. In this case, Cynthia actually knows her cars. Um, oh, we got Heather here. Heather works next door. <laughs> I, actually, it's funny. We're connected on social media, so she, she's watching. She works next door. Um, yeah, so let's take a let's take a walk here. What do we have here? So we have a BMW. Is this a Z4 or Z3? Z4, yeah. This has 163,000 miles on it. It was actually taken in as a trade-in from another customer who purchased the same exact vehicle, 2004, with 40,000 miles. But that one sold for about 14,000. This one's priced at 5,000. This okay. is the original color of the car. It is a blue metallic. It does have a beautiful beige interior on it. It is a 2.5i convertible. Nice. The car's hot, actually. Yeah, the inside, as you can see, if you look on the inside, that beige interior yep. is really hard to take care of. There's not one single spot of dirt or anything on these carpets. So it's, really, it's a really fun car to drive. If I didn't even go into detail on the mileage, you wouldn't yeah. even know it had that many. Personally, for me, if this car was a manual, I'd be in. Yeah. I'm all about that stick. Yeah, this is fun, sporty. They do come in manual, but we got an automatic in. And then this. Okay, so this brings me back to history. This is a 2002 Honda CRV LX all-wheel drive. Uh, it, did, it did not come with alloy wheels. It came with steel wheels. It did not have a moonroof. It does have a CD player. What a lot of people don't know about this vehicle is actually, uh, if you open it up in the trunk, it actually has a picnic table. Did you know that? No. Um, if, I, we don't have room to open it. And so this was a perfect car.
Yep. Um, Honda CRVs 2008 and 2013 available as well. Yeah, this, this thing was great. I used to sell them when I first got in the business. I was with Honda for about eight years, and I used to sell them, and that picnic table was cool. Uh, those of you that watch me on social media, I was at another client's dealership a few months ago, and we did a video on one of these. A similar vehicle, except there was a black one, I believe, and we were showcasing the, the picnic table. Uh, how much for the Beamer? I'm getting a question asked. This one is priced at 4995 if I'm not mistaken. It says 5995 on here. It could be. So maybe on the website it's a little lower. So it's about 5000 What's nice about this dealership is they're fair. Uh, they do business the right way. Uh, if you check out their reviews online, you'll find that they are incredible reviews. Uh, very, very rarely will a pre-owned dealership get reviews at the level that this dealership does. So again, we have that Mini Cooper we're looking at. Uh, we have the Acura MDX. This is more of a late model uh, vehicle. Uh, looks like that's an RDX, I believe. Yeah, it looks like an RDX. They made the ZDX for a little bit, and then they stopped. I just got this in, too. This is actually a 2005 Acura TL. It is a one-owner vehicle with mm -hmm. all of the maintenance kept up to date. The Carfax is on the website. This one is priced at $7,985, if I'm not mistaken. So once again, this has 116,000 miles on it. These, are, yep. these TLs are actually really popular within the family, so... For you to find a 2005 with 116,000 miles is kind of hard to. People use and abuse these cars because yep. they last you a lifetime. So I've personally seen this vehicle 160, 170,000 miles, and people still want over yep. 5,000, 6,000 for this car. So this car, for what it's, where it's at, it has another interior. Yep. It does have sunroof, which is perfect. The, window, the windows are... Light tinted, but mm -hmm. it doesn't like tinted. The sound system on there, I forgot the name of it. It was a premium sound system. I um, I sold Acuras in 2006, uh -huh. and um, this was one of my, it still is, till this day, one of my favorite cars. I still think that, personally, they never made a nicer body style. I love the way this car looks. I love the way they drive. They made an 06, 07. They made a Type S model, uh -huh. uh, which also came in a stick. It was like 38000 My biggest regret in life was I never bought one. I was selling them at the time. The car is incredible. Um, it's beautiful from the outside to the inside. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that price is incorrect. It might be priced less than seven thousand dollars. I might have actually. to buy it myself. So I have <laughs> to double check on that. I mean, yeah, no, this. Ten percent, then it's only seven thousand. I mean, this car is beautiful. The, the colors and everything. I forgot the name of the sound system. It wasn't Mark Levinson because Lexus does Mark Levinson, but it had. Um, I don't remember what it's called, TLS. It was, it was premium. It was something that was utilized by classical musicians. I remember this, and I forgot the name of it. It's been a very long time since I sold these cars, but I'm just going off of my muscle memory, so to speak. This vehicle is gorgeous. This, this is what made Acura, in my opinion. Vehicles like this, the Acura Legend, obviously the MDX. Um, listen, the new ones are nice too, but I just personally, I, I love the styling of, yeah, of these the older styling. ones. I like the style more than the newer ones. The newer ones are a lot bigger. And... It was about thirty-five thousand dollars, brand new. I remember. Okay. Um, it you is know, a six cylinder too, so it's yeah. a gas saver. It's more on the luxuries and. Yeah, it's about two hundred and seventy horsepower. Yeah. Two two seventy, two eighty. Um, a beautiful car. And whoa, what do we have here? We have a convertible. EOS twenty twelve. She knows her cars. I'm telling you, she knows her cars. This is pretty nice. I mean, I know summer's almost over, but it's okay. If you have a garage, you can store it in the garage. You know, I'm sure we're going to have some nice days out there. You can put the top down and, and drive in style. It's a red car. Um, let's see here. What else do we have here? Uh, this is a, if I'm not mistaken, a tip right to the left of you is a 2010 Volvo XC70. Um, I have to double check on the mileage with this. Wow. It's priced roughly around 14000 But as you can see, this vehicle is extremely spacious. So if you guys have a family, like to travel, um, or a growing family, I should say, this is definitely a great vehicle. Um, one that I used to work on, it was actually badly beaten down um, when I used to work at my other job. It had 300,000 miles on it, and it wow. was still running like brand new. That's something that I never mind about. I 
I was shocked about it myself. So this, if you look at the lights on, you got it. It's a nice looking car too. Yeah, and roomy. It's spacious. Like look at the back. It's yeah. a station wagon. So yeah. for families, I highly recommend. For people who are always traveling, I highly recommend you have a lot of trunk space with this vehicle. On the inside, you do have a beautiful leather. Okay. Uh, I think this is cool. It's probably locked right now. Yeah. Hyundai Santa Fe. This looks like a late model one. I didn't see it last time I was here. No. It's a Hyundai Santa Fe limited all-wheel drive edition. Tinted windows in the back. This is this vehicle looks as new as they come. Look at look at these rims. Not a scratch on them. I'm telling you guys, for pre-owned, this is one of the top dealerships, in my opinion, to buy a car from. And listen, I do business with a lot of pre-owned dealerships, and I definitely recommend doing business with them because I, I do have a pick as to who I do business with. I typically do business with the most reliable, the best dealers out there. And um, I have to say, the inventory here is second to none. Um, let me see if I can fit right through here with all this weight loss. Oh, I do fit through here. All this weight loss. 2014 Hyundai Santa Fe all-wheel drive limited. Uh, <laughs> navigation system, rear camera leather, panel roof, um, blind spot monitoring. 75,000 miles on it. It's just under 20,000, 19,995. Um, this is loaded. I could see leather seats. This is one of the more luxurious models loaded up. Hyundai Santa Fe. This vehicle is legit. Oh, what do we have here? Is that a Range Rover? Yes, it is. This thing's a monster. Look at those rims. This thing is a monster. Monster vehicle. 2015. Land Rover, Range Rover, four-wheel drive, supercharged, 5.0 liter, eight-cylinder, four-wheel drive, 29,000 miles on it, $71,995. This thing is beautiful, worth every penny. As you can see here, we have vehicles from three, 4,000 all the way up to 80,000. This car is awesome, or truck, should I say. And right behind me here that I just bumped into is a Lexus ES. Very popular. One of the most popular vehicles in the market. We all like our Lexuses, right? It's a nice vehicle. Let's take a look at this. It is a 2012 ES350 with 44,000 miles on it for $16,995. Great vehicle. Upgraded version. Obviously, we all know that Lexus is part of Toyota. And uh, this is the next step up. Personally, uh, come from a Lexus family. Uh, family owns a Lexus ES, actually. Great vehicle, very reliable. One of the most reliable vehicles in the market. You drive in style and luxury. It's a great vehicle if you're an executive. You're looking to not go overboard on your budget and get a luxury car. This is the one to go. I mentioned the Honda CRV before. This is a 2008 model. Actually, this body style came out in 2008. Eight, I believe I was actually working with Honda in 07 when we started getting these in our dealership this looks like this is the EXL model yes that is correct EXL model they started making them with leather at that time and uh, very very nice vehicle here alloy wheels leather seats uh, they do have some of them have an option that comes with the navigation um, that they started making uh, the Navi wasn't selling as much this was approaching a $30,000 limit at the time. But this vehicle is a great vehicle. Uh, we have it here for $12,875. It's got 51,000 miles on it. Again, ultra low miles. I talked about this in the beginning of this video. Is very simply, this dealership is very good at finding uh, older model vehicles with low mileage. They do have some of the cleanest pre-owned vehicles that I've ever seen. Like, no joke. Clean titles, clean car faxes, you name it, they have it. Again, we're talking about a 10-year-old vehicle with 51,000 miles on it. And the reason why it's priced at 12875 these vehicles are hard to come by. It's very hard to find a Honda in the right condition. Hondas have the highest resale value in the industry. 
So when you're getting a 10-year-old Honda CRV and you're spending $13,000 on it, rest assured you're making a very sound investment. So let's see what else do we have here. I'm enjoying this. This is fun for me. I get to look at cars. I get to go video. I get to have fun with you guys. I appreciate the, uh, the comments. And uh, we're going to push this video out. Uh, we're going to make sure all of New Jersey sees this so that we can help keep building the brand for TSF Auto Sales. So this is kind of cool, guys. Um, got another Volkswagen here. Looks like it's a Tiguan. Yeah, it's a Tiguan. See, I guess I'm starting to know my cars better. It's a 2014 Tiguan, four motion, all wheel drive, SEL model, automatic transmission, navigation, keyless uh, entry, panoramic roof, rear camera, $16,995 with 48,000 miles on it. So this vehicle is pretty luxurious too. Yes, they are. We are a pure auto price certified dealership. Thank you for uh, mentioning that, Mr. Grillo. Let's see here. Subaru. We got some Subies in the house. This is a Crosstrack 2013. It's got uh, 98,000 miles, 14,995. Also, what can you say about this vehicle? Yeah, they are, they all are. Actually, the only one that's not is the BRZ. Okay. I'll show you. So, I, I've never owned a Subaru. I know I'm interested in purchasing a Subaru myself. I was actually looking at this too. This is super small. Um, it's got like a four door and a five door. It's got like a Subaru Outback in the back. Um, it's got like a four door and a five door. It's got like a Subaru Outback in the back. It's got like a four door and a five door. It's got like a Subaru Outback in the back. It's got like a four door and a five door. It's got like a Subaru Outback in the back. It's got like a four door and a five door. It's got like a Subaru Outback in the back. It's got like a four door and a five door. It's got like a Subaru Outback in the back. It's got like a four door and a five door. It's got like a Subaru Outback in the back. It's got like a four door and a five door. It's got like a Subaru Outback in the back. It's got like a four door and a five door. It's got like a Subaru did you know that Subaru is also very dog friendly as a brand? So something Subaru has done a really good job. They're all about the ASPCA. Uh, they they sell accessories for dogs. If you have dogs and you know you travel with your dogs, Subaru is the vehicle for you. Um, especially something like this, you could probably get um, an accessory that will allow your dog to run up, or your dog to feel comfortable in the back. You do have a lot of cargo space in the back uh, for th for this particular one. Um, a great vehicle, actually. It drives like a car, but it's really more like an SUV. It's a little wagon. Um, I actually personally like the the feel of, of these in particular. Um, and look at this right next right here. We have a Dodge. We have a 2018, ooh, this is almost new, 4,600 miles on. 2018 Dodge Durango GT, all-wheel drive, rear camera, Bluetooth, keyless entry, um, 3.6 liter V6 engine. Um, wow, 35,995. This thing is a monster. Look how big it is. Actually, you could tell this thing is almost new. Look at the rims. You can always tell just looking at the rims. So it's actually really nice gray rims. Yeah. Yeah. This is fully loaded. Fully loaded. To the brim. My personal favorite is the white. I like white cars. I'm all about the white cars. It has a backup camera. It has navigation on the yep. outside. Leather seats. What? So I'm pretty sure that they are heated leather seats. I wonder if yeah, you most have time. more information on the Santa Fe though, whenever you're ready. Yeah, let's do it. Some features that it brings. It's brand new. It just came in, I think, yesterday. It has navigation, it has a rear view camera, it has blind spot monitors. Mm -hmm. It is a third row seating vehicle. Some people don't even realize it. So if you have a big family or a grown family, this is the way to go. It's actually priced less than $19,000. Good. And it is an all wheel drive, so it can't be. And real quick, what number do they call to reach you? 201-426-0222 is where you can reach Again? Uh -huh. There you go. Okay. They're asking for Cynthia when you guys call. She'll take care of you. This, yeah, this is beautiful. It's in great shape for the mileage. 
Uh, oh, what do we have here? Ford? Ford Edge? We just mentioned the number. Um, let's see here. Yeah, th this this is yeah. This looks like it just came in. I can tell. Oh, and what do we have here? A Mustang convertible. 2012 Mustang convertible, Kona blue metallic, 92,000 miles, automatic transmission, leather seats, 5.0 liter engine. Yeah, those tires look like they're. Yeah, the tires are brand new, almost. This is, uh, if, if you're out there looking for a muscle car, wow, actually, something about this styling right here that I personally like, this is what, this is social share approved. Yeah, this vehicle is hot. Hey, what's up? Just wanted to show you guys the inventory so you guys know what you're looking at when you're out online. Um, let's see, we've got a Mercedes Benz here. Everybody wanted it. Yeah. It was black. This one is actually a 2009. I'm going to walk over to her. Pardon the appearance. We're making some renovations so that we can serve our customers better. <laughs> 2009 Infinity FX. It has 67,000 miles on it, guys. It comes with leather seats. It has a sunroof. It does come up with it. It comes with a backup camera. It also comes with a 360 camera that views even the top of the vehicle, the two sides, the back, the front. Um, this one, if I'm not mistaken, is priced just underneath 18000 Yeah, nice. Look at the grill. 67,000 miles. 67, here's the thing. I actually personally like this vehicle. I like the black rims. But what I think is, I think this vehicle has some kind of elegant, classy look to it. It really does. It's got really nice lines. Uh, I'm a big fan. I, I like the vehicle. I actually That's wish they still made them. The it's got... Superman. Tension Superman fans. Where's that sticker? I don't, oh, here we go. Right there. Are you a Superman fan? If you are, come check this vehicle out. It's a Super Infinity. It's really spacious. Infinity is known for being the more luxurious. Yeah. Um, it's a Nissan, so. Yep. It's definitely showing off with this vehicle right here. It is highly requested here. I can't guarantee that it will be here for much longer. As you can see on the top, it has carbon fiber. Oh, wow. I love it carbon has a fiber. Black rooftop, which is very stylish as well. So that's cool. And I just saw a Honda Odyssey. Yes. I spy Honda. 2011 Honda Odyssey. If I'm not mistaken, this has about 75,000 miles on it. Let me confirm. Which is something very rare in Honda Odyssey nowadays. Everybody knows that this mm -hmm. is a popular vehicle. This vehicle, for the same price, I was telling you, easily can be sold with over 100,000 miles on it. So this, just so you know, this vehicle, it came from the Boston area. You know how I know? This vehicle came from the Boston, New Hampshire type area. There's, because I see the sticker at Tamian. There's a dealership, I believe. There's a Honda dealership out there uh -huh. with that. So that right there tells me, I believe this vehicle was purchased originally in that Boston area. I think one of my friends might've worked there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is. I can tell by the rims. This is one of the most popular minivans. It probably still is the most popular minivan in its class. Um, oh my God! So much history with them. I used to sell so many of these vehicles. Moonroof. It's got leather. So this is the EXL. Does this one have the navigation system? Yes, it does. Does it have the rear entertainment system? This does have navigation. Because. Okay. So this is just the. It, yeah, it does. It does. Okay, so this vehicle, brand new, is right around $40,000. Actually, these days, maybe even more. Yeah. Uh, what year is this? Is it 2011? 2011, with only 75,000 miles on it. So. Yeah, these, 
this is like the ultimate. I, I get it. You know, some people, they complain, you know, I don't want to drive a minivan. It's a mommy mobile. I get it. But listen, here's the thing. Um, this is great for those families, for the mom that needs a safe, reliable minivan uh, to get around with an AVI system, with a DVD rear entertainment system for the kids, that you can control the their sound, um, what they hear with their headphones, separately from what the mom is seeing on the vehicle in the front. Um, what else is nice about it is it's a powerful one. So for those dads out there that they get a little like, oh, I don't want a, I don't want a minivan. Listen, it's a powerhouse of a minivan. You will enjoy it. So if, you know, don't get offended. Uh, drive it. You'll feel it. You'll like it. And you're going to want this SUV, this, SUV, this minivan. Um, these are great. These are powerful. And it does not drive like a van. It drives like a car. Honda was very good about making their vehicles like that. And right here, oh, the ultimate bad boy. It's a Chrysler 300. It's 2015, if I'm not mistaken. 2015 Chrysler? 2015 Chrysler with 82,000 miles on it. Blue. I actually like this blue on it. Pretty big this alloy is wheels. Just under 16,000. Moonroof. A little presidential, a little, little vehicle to show off. Yeah. It's okay. This is um this is nice. This is real nice. Uh, I see a Nissan Altima here. Now keep in mind, we're in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey. So we are in this area. We're very close to New York. We're very we're close to the Bronx, we're close to Queens, Long Island. You know, so we're in this tri-state area. And one thing that people uh, sometimes don't realize is, but they'll notice it if they're driving around the streets, is Nissan is one of the highest selling vehicles in this area. Matter of fact, in New York, and this I know from working with Nissan, in New York, um, these vehicles are very popular. So if you live in New York, if you live in this area, I know we have some, uh, a lot of Nissan uh, deals going on in this area. If you live in New York, um, I highly come suggest check out this vehicle. Very reliable uh, Nissan Altima. Um, Let's take a look at this vehicle some more here. I don't remember what year this is. It's a 2016 for 13,990, 47,000 miles. It looks like it's the S model. It's the base model. Great, great vehicle. Also great vehicle if you're an Uber or Lyft driver. If you're uh, doing Uber Eats, if you're delivering either food or people, that's the right vehicle. Perfect. Now, I see another Lexus. I see an RX. Let's go over to that side a little bit. I want to talk a little bit more about what else we have here. Oh, wait a second. Acura TSX. Okay, this is another vehicle along with the TL that was very popular. I still wish they made this vehicle. This, this vehicle was incredible. Uh, this is a 2011 Automatic transmission, leather seats, Navi. Uh, I, this, this, oh, this is a tech package. Okay, they made a tech package one. Sunroof, leather seats. What is it? 10995, 113,000 miles. But don't worry because this thing will go and go forever. She did mention the brand new tires. Yes, I see it. I see it. So now let's take a look at this. Again, another very popular Lexus vehicle. You know, it's funny. I was just in um, Marlboro, Manalapan area a couple days ago. I was in a parking lot. Half of the vehicles in the parking lot were these. These things are popular. These things are very hot. Um, they're, they're mass produced because everybody wants them. Why does everybody want them? They're reliable. They're the most reliable luxury SUV out there. Between this and the Acura MDX, you just can't go wrong for a luxury SUV. I believe this is a 2008, 108,000 miles on it. It's an RX350, Navi system, uh, rear camera, Bluetooth, uh, 12995. Again, excellent, reliable vehicle. I, I have, yeah. Yeah. And it's a gas saver all in one. So That's correct. Got leather seats, beautiful body, beautiful motors. And it's a Lexus. You guys want to go luxury? Lexus is luxury. You know, Lexus is luxury. 
Um, oh, you guys want another fuel efficient vehicle? 2014 Hyundai Elantra SE, 1.8 liter, 20,705 miles on it. Red. We're going for 13,995. This vehicle was fairly new. This vehicle was fairly new. So. So, 2014 Volkswagen Tiguan. So there you have it, folks. TSF Auto Sales has some quality inventory. They got some great deals. They got great financing. You name it, cars from 4,000, cars all the way up to 80,000. This is the dealership to consider. If they don't have what you're looking for, I want you to call them and ask them. They will get it for you. They get vehicles weekly, daily, weekly. They make it happen. Um, all you have to do is go on tsfautosales.com, tsfautosales.com. Check out the inventory. Pick up the phone. Call. Ask for Cynthia and ask her questions. She will get you the answer. She knows what she's doing. So anyway, guys, have a great day and thank you for watching.